what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? To anyone who has been paying the slightest bit of attention to social media lately, it is hard to miss the increase of Karen videos. Footage of angry, dramatic, sobbing white women getting called out for scolding, spitting at, cursing at, or even pointing guns at people, as in the now infamous footage of the St. Louis personal injury lawyer couple, Dub, Ken, and Karen, who used firearms to threaten the peaceful protesters who passed by their mansion. But what is really going on below the surface here, family? And what makes these uncivilized individuals flip out? Let's start with what a Karen is. Karen is a pejorative term commonly used to describe an entitled white woman who is as likely to insist on seeing a manager for a minor infraction as she is to call the police on black people going about their business. While Matt Shimkowitz of Know Your Meme said its original origins are difficult to trace, he said the most convincing theory is that the archetype originated from a Dane Cook comedy special that aired in 2005. But according to sociologist and professor Jesse Daniels, author of White Lies and Cyber Racism, whose forthcoming book Undoing White Womanhood looks at the history of how white women contribute to systemic racism its roots, if not specific name, goes even further back than that. A lot of people are responding to this Karen meme as if this is a new phenomenon, like somehow there's this new emergence of white women behaving badly, and it's simply not the case, she tells Yahoo Life. It's very much a piece connected to this long history of how white women, going back to white women who were part of the slave-owning class of this country, behaved in brutal and violent ways. In fact, the archetype had names long before the popularization of Karen, such as Miss Anne, an older colloquial term used to describe the white women who were the wives, sisters, daughters, and mothers of slave owners in the Deep South, known to harbor virulent fear and resentment of black people. In recent years, such caught on film displays of racism inspired individual names for each woman, such as Permit Patty and Gas Station Gail, often shared with the hashtag Living While Black. And that main element of racism is why some social media users have criticized the term Karen for making light of what's really going on in these videos. As one Twitter user put it, calling them Karens instead of racist distracts from the fact that they enable and benefit from white supremacy. Bingo. So, in the opinion of the experts, what causes these meltdowns? Natasha Stovall, a clinical psychologist, self-described on Twitter as a white lady who is putting whiteness on the couch, tells Yahoo Life that the level of hysteria the women in these viral videos seem to experience shows that they're very triggered in a way that is pretty extreme, some of which involves projecting this idea of being attacked while some is simply aggressively attacking other people. I think what is going on underneath when somebody like that has a reaction, she explains, is defenselessness. So, can a Karen change her uncivilized ways? Can she act like she got some damn sense, like she was raised in a house and not a barn? According to the experts, the answer is yes. They say that while people can work on their reactions and behaviors right away, unlearning the deeper attitudes, thoughts, and beliefs take more time. But as a white person, you don't have to do this all at once. You can listen to the people of color around you and to white people who have already been doing this for a while to begin the process of learning. See, that's the operative word, fam, learning. 
Some of y'all think y'all know it all. So you're uncoachable, you're unteachable. But if you want to learn, the information is out there. If you want to join those of us who are civilized, come on down. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Fam, I just did not realize there were so many uncivilized people in America. I didn't realize there were so many disturbed, mentally ill people in America. I just, I just didn't know. The internet opened it up. It's like they were saying, this is not a new phenomenon. This has been going on since the Europeans got here. Day one. Man. I'm with the young lady who dropped that tweet and said that calling them Karens basically undermines what they really are. They're racist. Let's get back to calling them exactly what they are. You know what? I don't want to hear nothing. Not one damn complaint. From here on out, about an angry black woman because black women, even an angry black woman, ain't got shit on these white women. I mean, can't come close. That internet boy, that internet showing off. What is done in the dark will eventually come to light even if it takes 400 years. Whoa. Every time I see one of them, one of those caring slash racist, all I can think of is a trailer park is missing its queen. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.